Hi there, I'm Dr. Sarah, staff veterinarian for Life's Abundance. Winter weather is upon us and we here at Life's Abundance want to remind everybody to take special precautions to keep their fur kids safe and healthy during the cold months. In the winter, sidewalks and roads are routinely treated with chemicals to melt snow and ice. So be mindful to prevent your pet from ingesting these harmful substances. The absolute worst of all wintertime chemical spills is antifreeze from a car's radiator. Antifreeze is sweet to the taste, but is extremely dangerous for dogs and cats. Even a lick can prove fatal. Unless it's just a hop into the car, it's probably best to keep all pets away from the garage. If you believe your companion animal has consumed any of this toxic liquid, exhibiting symptoms similar to intoxication or convulsions, go to the veterinarian immediately. Outdoor cats will sometimes seek shelter under the warm hood of a car, only to suffer fan-related injuries when the car is started. To avoid this heartbreaking scenario, check under your hood, or at least tap or bang on it before starting the vehicle. If you are adopting a puppy during the winter, there are some unique concerns that you should be aware of. In what follows, we'll review some important tips covered previously on Pet Talk. Today, I am talking about puppies. If you have recently adopted a new puppy, then congratulations and welcome to all the fun of having a puppy during the winter season. No matter how bad the weather is, puppies have lots of energy and need exercise. The problem is that warm weather breeds, such as Chihuahuas, Yorkies, miniature greyhounds, are intolerant to cold temperatures. Arctic breeds, such as Malamutes and Huskies, St. Bernards, can manage cold temperatures better, but across the board, puppies are more sensitive to cold than adults and can develop hypothermia and frostbite quickly. During cold weather, keep walks frequent and short and put a sweater on short-haired puppies. If your schedule can allow it, four to five 15 minute walks during the day is ideal. Keep your eyes peeled for shivering, which is the first sign of hypothermia, and keep a lookout for frostbite as well. Frostbitten skin is red and painful and is more likely to occur on the webbing in between the toes or on the tip of the ears. If you suspect frostbite, soak the affected area in warm, not hot water for 20 minutes, and if your dog is shivering, wrap them in warm towels um, straight from the dryer. If in doubt, call your local veterinarian. If you live in the city, boots are a great option for dogs and young dogs can be easily trained to wear boots. Boots protect your dog's paws from frostbite, salt, sand, and other chemicals that can leave your dog's paws um, irritated and chapped. If the weather is too cold to go out, hard chew toys can help your puppy burn off excess energy, can help with teething, and it can save your furniture. If you have the space, indoor fetch is a great game as well. Housebreaking, uh, for the most part, is the same in winter weather as it is in warmer weather, with a few exceptions. Never leave your puppy unattended during winter weather. If you are experiencing extended inclement weather, consider training your pet to go on puppy papers. Then when the weather improves, you can move the papers outside to tra help transition your puppy. To encourage puppies and adult dogs to do their business outdoors, keep the potty area shoveled and free of snow. Puppies have a high caloric requirement for growth and development, and they need extra calories during the winter to help them to stay warm. Offer a bit of extra food to provide these extra needed calories. These tips should help your puppies stay safe and happy during the winter. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Sarah, and check back soon for more episodes of Pet Talk.